Many thanks for staying with us. The governor of River State, Iso Mwike, has charged the new board of the Internal Revenue Service to come up with professional and fraud-proof systems that will improve the state's internally generated revenue. The governor charged the new caretaker committee chairman to stay within their bounds in the collection of the only the tenement rate to avoid the wrath of the law. According to the Nigerian Bureau of Statistics, revenue generated in River State for the period of 2015-2016 stands at 82.10 billion naira, and with a state budget of 470 billion naira for 2017, the government is concerned that more needs to be done to meet its developmental targets. As part of efforts to shore up the state's finances, the state governor has set up a new board of internal revenue. It took us time not to appoint members of this board because uh, we were looking for those who are professional and qualified. You are not politicians. And I want you to remain so. There was no temptation that did not come to me and said I will not appoint politicians. I will appoint professionals who know that they are professionals. So don't mix disappointment with politics. Chairman of the board says their mandate is clear. We are particularly grateful that is, uh, your excellency has indicated like an expo, some of the challenges we're going to face. This is not lost on us. And what we can assure you and the rivers people is that we shall not fail. New caretaker committee chairman for the 23 local government areas in the state were also inaugurated. Governor Wiki tells them that those who expect to siphon money will be disappointed. You may be disappointed because what you may be hearing that this is your turn. The turn around not to be any turn. So that those of you who have been fighting, I want to die because of chairmanship position. You are at the end of the final that there's nothing for you to eat. Governor Wiki is optimistic that the latest changes will help turn around the finances of the state. Emmanuel Iri, Channels Television News. The governor of Delta State, Ifanyo Okoa, has called his administration high in the implementation of its empowerment programs. He told a press conference in Asaba, the state capital, that through Smart Agenda, he has continued to stay on course despite the economic challenges. In the year 2016, the Yale program, that is the Yale Agriculture program, that trained 342 persons, while in the STEP program, that trained 587 persons. This program is of course, the other parts have been uh, already put in place. At this time, we are passing an adjustment. So while we are providing a lot of what they need, we are also beginning to introduce them to family services and getting them to work in microphone to be able to get a part of the percentage of what they are supposed to use for the growth of their business and the microphone institution. We are we also designed a special program for the for people living with disabilities. This will be challenging as we call it. The two of them will engage in the program and they are currently in the world. Governor of Delta State, Ifai Okowa. The Center for Democracy and Development, CDC, has begun training of 60 clerics, youth, women, and community leaders on counter violence terrorism in Yobe State. 
The program officer, Mr. Steve Amuda, told participants in Damatru, the state capital, that the session is aimed at supporting security agencies and civil society organizations in developing and disseminating counter-radical narratives to fundamental groups in Nigeria. Into Boko Haram are actually youth, young people, and of course, um, there's still a, 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 you know, a number of them within the community who need to be trained and understand how to actually identify um, radical ideologies that uh, have the tendency of actually converting them or their friends. So we thought it best to actually bring them on board, as well as females, because I'm sure you've understood that um, one of the you know, recent phenomena that we've been seeing in the Northeast is um, an increase in female suicide bombings. We're trying to train the clerics, the religious leaders, on how to use the counter radical narrative materials. And the, the output of the first training is that uh, we, we try, it's, better to, it's better equipped the clerics on how to counter the extremists. Yeah, the first. And finally, on the program, we talk some aviation matters. The federal government has taken over ARIC. Air airline which has been experiencing difficulties in recent times. According to the Asset Management Corporation of Nigeria, AMCON, the decision to intervene clearly on the school's government's commitment to instill sanity in the country's aviation sector to prevent a major catastrophe. The airline also has a new management. And the Minister of State for Aviation, Hadi Sirika, expressed the belief that the development will bring about the needed sanity in the aviation sector. And that's the program. Many thanks for watching. I'm Melinda Akimami.